Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.14 from Sadiku book. So the question is apply the superposition principle to find V0. V0 is this voltage here in the figure. Okay, maybe we need to split this into two circuit. So I will split this into two circuit. The one that with voltage source turn off and the one with the current source turn off. Okay, maybe let me draw the circuit. Okay, I have drawn two circuit here which split this into this one which is the current source turn off which is replaced by open circuit here and here we replace this current source by open circuit and here we replace the voltage source by short circuit. Okay, now first let's do analysis at circuit number one here. Okay. Let's do analysis on circuit number one. And I want to use this as our ground here. And therefore, this one here is V0 from the ground. And I want to assume the direction of the current here. It's going down, it's going to the right, and it's going to the right. So this is V0 prime. Let's do KCL at V0 prime okay as i said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out and there are two currents that goes in here and that is 20 minus v0 prime 20 minus v0 prime which is divided by the resistance between them which is 6 here and then plus this one here, it's also 20 minus V0 prime divided by 6. And the current that goes out is this one here, which is V0 prime divided by 3. Okay, maybe let's multiply both sides by 6 so we don't have to deal with fraction. And we'll have 20 minus V0 prime plus 20 minus V0 prime and that will equal to 2 V0 prime and we will have 40 on the left hand side and 4 V0 prime on the right hand side or we can conclude that V0 prime here will be 10 volt. okay maybe let's write it here let's highlight this because this is an important value here Okay, now let's move on to circuit number two. We need to find the V0 double prime here. Okay, I want to use nodal analysis. So let's set this here as our ground. But remember here we have this is also connected to the ground. So here is also ground. So we only need to uh use analysis at this node and this node this node here is v0 double prime and maybe let's name this node here as node a and we need to assume the direction of the current let's assume the direction of the current uh, maybe this is going to the right maybe this is going to the left this is going to the left and this is also going to the left and this one will be going down here. Okay, maybe let's do KCL at uh, not V0 prime first. KCL at not V0 prime. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one here, which is VA. VA minus V0 double prime divided by 2 yeah, divided by 2 and then all the other currents is going out so this current here will be 2 and then this current here will be V0 prime V0 double prime minus this is the ground so V0 double prime minus 0 that still be V0 double prime divided by 6 
and then this current here that will be v0 double prime divided by 3 okay maybe let's multiply both sides by 6 so we will have 3 va minus 3 v0 prime v0 double prime sorry and then that will equal to 12 plus v0 double prime plus 2 v0 and I will have 3 VA minus this will be 3 V0 double prime. Move to the left hand side. I will have 6 V0 double prime. And that 12 will be still be 12. So we will have, we can divide both sides by 3. So we'll have VA minus 2 V0 double prime. That will equal to Okay, maybe let's get sidetracked first to do KCL at not A here. Because we want to solve for V0, we need to know what is VA is. So we will need, we will need to do KCL at not A. KCL at not A and the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is from this current source here, which is 1. So let's do that. So we'll have 1 as the current that goes in. All the other currents is going out. So we will have this current here, which is VA divided by 4. And then plus this current here, which is VA minus V0 double prime divided by 2. Now multiply both sides by 4. Let's multiply both sides by 4. So we'll have 4 that will equal to VA plus 2VA and then minus 2V0. So what can we get from here? I will get 3VA. 3VA is equal to, I mean 3VA minus minus 2 v0 double prime is equal to 4. Okay, but here we can get this from here. So we'll have VA is equal to 2 v0 double prime plus 4. Now let's substitute he this value to here. So we'll have 3 multiplied by VA, but VA is 2 v0 double prime plus then minus 2 v0 okay now we can solve for v0 double prime so we have 6 v0 double prime plus 12 and then minus 2 v0 double prime and that will equal to 4 or that means that 4 v0 double prime is equal to 4 minus 12 and for minus 12 will be minus 8 or v0 double prime will be minus 2. Okay. Now we have v0 prime and v0 double prime. And remember that we can use subs, apa, superposition so we can get v0. What is v0? v0 is just v0 prime plus V0 double prime. So we will have V0 prime, which is 10. So we'll have 10 plus this one will be minus 2. Therefore, we can get V0. V0 is just 8 volt. And this is the final answer for this question. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation and see you in the next video bye bye